on my guys today we are in Motegi Japan and I'm sure I'm destroying that name and that's not how you pronounce it but we're here to watch Pato's race in Super Formula which is let's just say probably as far as my understanding goes the second fastest uh, racing formula after Formula One so Pato's racing right now for Red Bull, which is so exciting, Red Bull Japan. He's with a team called Mugen Power, which in Japanese means unlimited power. It's gangster. This place is gorgeous. And the difference between racing here and anywhere else in the world and pretty much any other race that I've ever seen, this is all about family. I don't mean that like in a Paul Walker, Fast and the Furious, like we're family drinking <laughs> Coronas. I mean like everyone brings kids their kids. Everywhere. There's so many like attractions out there and also massive bugs on top of Sergio. Ooh. <laughs> the spiders. Tell them about the spiders. Oh, and the biggest spiders in the world live here. So, either way, we'll show you a little bit of everything right now. We're just going to walk around. Today's a race, but Pato's got practice probably in 45 minutes. So, we want to make it back to uh, Pato before that starts. So, let's go. Let's check out Motegi, baby. Here is a little forest driving school, that's what they call it. It's gorgeous outlook. And you have like a little track, all of the kids are getting in their cars. And this is one thing I gotta say about these people. Everyone that's here that works, whether they're working with the kids, whether they're working behind the scenes, they're all very happy to be here. And that's something that I'm not used to seeing at all. The culture here is so beautiful and precious. I wanna live here for the rest of my life. This is insane. Let me take you to another place that's fun. here this is another different style of karting this is actually they're gonna go way faster you can hear the engines all those kids are lining up for the start of the race and the best thing about these cars they all look like s2000s from honda it's so cool And look right here, all these kids are learning how to go on a bike. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this is incredible. Imagine, that's such a cool track and the bikes are so cool. Man, Japanese kids have it good. They really do. It's amazing here. And everyone is so respectful. I want you guys to check this out. This is another incredible thing for kids. Everyone's like doing obstacles, climbing up the walls, the stairs, the little wood pieces. It's so unreal. And the track is just behind us, just right there. This is one of my favorites from yesterday. This is an off-roading course. You can see that lady with the little girl. So they have like bumper cart setups and they're going through different elevations, water, different terrains, everything. Look, 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 look. So they can get a feel of what it's like to go off-roading in a safe environment. And right next to the off-road experience, there's this which is a center where all of the kids are going inside and just having a blast. I'll show you right now inside. So I'm guessing it's a little early for everyone. The race starts like actually five, seven hours. But look at this. <laughs> so this right here, that looks like tacos al pastor, which is a Mexican dish that uh, comes from Turkish food, actually. So that's exactly that without the seasoning and the spice. I'm gonna come back for one of those. This is one of my favorite places of the whole thing. I don't fully quite understand what exactly it is, but it seems to be a workshop where everyone brings their kids and the whole theme is working with wood, 
nature. And for example, these things, these are made out of wood and they're planters. They're making them, they're putting plants right there. All of this is just carved out of wood, like even this, and they're making uh, little portrait frames. And then behind it, there's even more like bigger figurines and everyone's just there in like their camping houses. There's something so special about this place. <laughs> Look at this guy. We were wondering why the gas was cut so well. These, oh, these robots cut the grass. And it's just going around. And it's Look a Honda. It is, yeah. <laughs> wow. So we saw a Golf R right here, carboned up and all of the good stuff. But right here, this is insane. This is an SDI wagon. It goes all the way to the back. Look at this. Look at this, it's so long, that's what she said. And it is indeed an STI, wow. Back of the Gulf. <laughs> oh shit, man. I know I've only been running around for like I want to say 20 minutes. I'm already sweating bullets You got to know this is about a hundred degrees with 90% humidity So I apologize for how I'm gonna be progressing <laughs> with my look as we go with this. So uh, yeah What is this? It looks like the Falcons logo. Look at the spoiler on the back of the van <laughs> Of the Odyssey. We need more of those. And with these, we're gonna be able to just walk in there all the way to pits and watch Pato uh, actually race and do his practice right now. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Let me show you inside right now and what these tickets get you. It's a hot girl, period. <laughs> This is where all pits and where all the buses are. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go to ours, our tent, which is Mugen Power, which is right there, and we're gonna watch Pato's practice. Good luck, Pato. Practice starts right now. So it's still a few hours before the race, but we're heading right now upstairs to the same place where we saw all the lovely ladies giving like a, I don't know, what, what would you call it, Sergio? Like a show? I don't even know. Everyone was just clapping. And Whatever laughing. they were doing. So we're yeah. gonna go see Pato's gonna have a little something to do there. It's kind of like a press conference, but not really a press conference. So I think people just want to see the drivers meet him and hear him talk. So we're gonna do the same. All right, so we're waiting right now to go into the grid behind everything. All of the cars are out right now, making sure that everything is working, there's nothing missing. And uh, eventually, we're gonna jump in there before Pato runs in. Went out to 
test out the car. Meanwhile, we're just gonna do the grid walk. Watch your back, Georgia. There's people running with tires everywhere. I love how I went from not even caring about racing to this. I am madly in love with the whole thing. It's so much fun. And I know a lot of people are gonna say, I still don't know shit about racing, but I still go to more races than your ass, motherfucker. Bato, here he comes. There's Pato cooling off right now. I mean, it's so hot in here. It's so hot. I can't, can't even explain it, guys. The humidity is like Miami, but like way hotter. Way hotter. You've seen me review cars, I'm gonna review this one. This is a Red Bull car, it's a twin turbo. No, I'm just fucking kidding, guys. <laughs> All right, let's go, Pato. He's getting ready for the race, he's about to jump in the car, and let's go. Pato had a great race up until the end, where he experienced power loss from an engine malfunction. He was on pace to score some points, but unfortunately in the final 10 laps, the lack of power didn't allow him to overtake and was passed on on the straights. It was an incredible experience, and I know Pato wants it more now than ever. Knowing that he had an extra pit stop from everyone in front of him, plus power loss, and still could see the points on the final straight is something incredible. So like we always say, on to the next one, my guy.